All right, so this is science. Sorry, the post is um, on the same day the assignment is. I've had a little bit of a tricky thing going on with my camera, so hopefully this works. Um, it's for adaptive athletes reading review. Number one says, which of the following words best describe the author's attitude towards adaptive athletes? Athletes Are they wanting us to pity them? Are they wanting to show be respectful? curious about them or joyful well they're wanting us to respect the work that they do so it is b number two the author wrote adaptive athletes mainly to explain the history of this group of specialty skilled people especially skilled people persuade readers to attend the paralympic games sorry c inform readers of specific details about types of disabilities they didn't really focus on this. Entertain the reader with stories of famous athletes. Not really, they gave us some information about that, but it really was to give the history of the specialty sp skilled people, which is again, hence adaptive athletes. So A. Number three, read the sentence. We admire natural talent as well as the ability to complete, compete and win under pressure. What does the word ability mean? Does the ab word ability mean a need or desire, a threat or danger, a skill or talent, a duty or obligation? Well, if I have the ability to play the guitar, I have the skill or talent, not the threat, the need, or the duty. So let's see. Why did Sir Ludwig Gutmann want to start the Paralympics? Was it because he was disabled and wanted to complete, compete in sports? He wanted to rehabilitate war veterans who had spinal injuries. He was asked by the government to start a new program. Or D, he felt that the Olympics discriminated against the disabled. He wanted to create the uh, way to rehabilitate war veterans with spinal injuries. And that was part of the reason why I was so interested in this. I didn't know, know that. Number five, why must Paralympic swimmers wear blackened goggles during some events? A, so that per partially sighted swimmers don't have an advantage. B, so that judges don't know who's blind and who's not. C, so the swimmers will not be distracted by their competitors. Or D, so that swimmers can concentrate on the sounds from the officials. It is in fact, a, um, because some people have partial sight, but still qualify as being blind. Number six, what do the Olympics and the Paralympics both have in common? They both have gifted athletes competing for their countries. They both classify athletes on the basis of ability. They both are held in two, a different city every two years. They both were first held in ancient Greece. It is in fact that they both have athletes competing for their countries. Gifted athletes. All right, number seven. What makes this informa an informational nonfiction book? It is factual book that gives information about real events. It is written from the imagination of the writer. Well, we know it's not imagination. It places a made up, nope, it has not made up. It is a story about the events in one person's life. Nope, it is in fact a, it is a factual book that gives information about real events. B, what is Trisha Zorns known for? Is it A, she is the most decorated cross country athlete? B, she is the most decorated Paralympian in history? Is it C, she is the most par decorated athlete in the winter games or um d she is the world's top ranked wheelchair tennis player she is the most decorated para olympian in history b all of this stuff you can go back and find in your text if you if you're looking for that information and usually i would model that i just want to make sure i read this out Number nine, a device known as an exoskeleton could give many people with disabilities an opinion for, mo an, sorry, an option for mobility. 
Which of the following is an example of someone who needs help with mobility? A, someone who is blind or partially blind. B, someone who is deaf or hard of hearing. C, someone who has an intellectual disability. Or D, someone who is paralyzed and cannot use their legs to walk. <gasps> Holy cow, that was a big yawn. It is in fact D. Mobility means able to move around. So this is a blind person can move maybe not as accurately as a person with sight, but they're referring more to mobility as an ability to move their own body. Um, let me see really quick. Um, number 10. What problem did Londoners face after winning the bid for the Olympics and the Paralympics? Oh my gosh, this one I know it has everything to do with money. Because they thought at first it was going to be awesome and then they're like, it's going to cost billions of dollars. The majority of the people in London did not want the games to be held there. That's not true. It was going to cost billions of British pounds to build the facilities. Yep. Let's keep reading and see if there's multiple answers. We're just going to check. The facilities were not built for people with disabilities. That's not true. The building site was a contaminated industrial area. Well... That this is true, but that's not why. So we're doing, we're, it's B. It was true, but it's not why they had a problem with it. They were actually glad because they were going to use the money to fix up a part of their town. Next, 11. Extended response. So this means about two sentences. Which details support the main idea that athletes are made able by their abilities rather than hampered by their disabilities. So, which details support the main idea that athletes are made able by their abilities rather than hampered by their disabilities? So, number 11. Amy Purdy. She was the snowboarder girl who had her feet or her her had her legs amputated below the knee has helped oops has helped lots of other people who have missing limbs she also gives athletes made able by their way she also gives Also, I wouldn't say gives. Also does work hard at competing even with her legs being different. Number 12. 
So two sentences, capitals and end marks. So plus four. Number 12. After reading the book, what can you conclude about the future of the Paralympic Games? Well, they, the para Olympic Games are going to start incorporating ionic or robotic A-T-H athletes, A-T-H-L-E-T-E-S, sorry, athletes, science makes more possible for those facing physical and mental challenges. All right, there we go.